Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. We all know fragrance and skincare isn't something I avoid, but it's also not something I sniff out for, you know, it's not something I look for in my skincare. I think a lot of people think I love fragrance, but I don't, I, I know it serves no purpose. So today I want to share with you a product for every step of the skincare routine that is fragrance free. After my alcohol-free skincare routine video, a lot of people were asking for um, fragrance-free and paraben-free, which I am going to do. But today we're starting with fragrance-free, so I'm going to go into a lot of information now. So if you're not bothered about the information or want to know what fragrance-free truly means, then I will leave a timestamp here for you so you can skip right to the products and the routine. So yes, fragrance as we know isn't the most helpful of ingredient, um, but like all ingredients, every single ingredient in skincare, it's something you can develop an allergy to. For example, I used to love witch hazel, I used to love it and everything, now I can't go near the stuff. But the real problem is with fragrance is that it serves no purpose whatsoever. So unlike witch hazel, that may have some advantages for some people, fragrance literally does nothing for your skin. So it can't do anything good, the only thing it can do is potentially irritate. So they are very useful. Useless. I'm aware of how useless fragrance is in skincare. And when I say useless, I just mean nothing for the skin. It adds like a, a consumer like um, experience, you know, it, it makes you feel like nice, I guess. So the real issue here is the labeling of fragrance or perfume, perfume, perfume in skincare. As we know on skincare, your ingredients list, every single ingredient is listed individually. However, this is not the case when it comes to any fragrance used in skincare. So under US law, and I'm pretty sure European law as well. You do not have to list every single fragrance that's in your product. You can simply group these all under the one word fragrance, which is very suspicious. It's like, why wouldn't you? And that's because sometimes they use too many. And that's because according to the FDA, the law isn't allowed to make brands reveal their secret ingredients, their special formulations or any trade secret. And a cocktail of fragrances is considered by law and the FDA as a trade secret. So think KFC secret recipe chicken. They're not gonna tell you, they don't have to tell you because it's a trade secret. It's a special cocktail of ingredients. And that's the real problem is that there is around 3,000 thousand different types of fragrance used in cosmetics. Not just cosmetics, but also household cleaning products. And that's why I think the irritation rate is so high is because out of 3,000 ingredients, you're bound to find one of them potentially irritating. And that's a problem as well, because the, fr the fragrances aren't listed on the product, you're never gonna know what one it is that you'll, you have a reaction to. So we know there are two types of fragrances, synthetic and natural. One is not better or worse than the other. So finally, a bit of decoding. What does fragrance free really mean? And what does unscented mean? Both are very misleading in my opinion. So let's start with unscented, because this is one that you see plastered on the front of a product that kind of makes you think it's fragrance free and that it's not got any of those synthetic fragrances in. However, unscented doesn't mean that it doesn't contain any fragrance. What it does mean is that it contains a fragrance that offsets the smell of the product. So it contains a fragrance that's going to mask the smell of the product. So it's still a fragrance, it just doesn't smell like a heavy fragrance. Very misleading. Fragrance free, on the other hand, means that no synthetic or added fragrances were put in unnecessarily. So nothing was added to change the product natural occurring aroma. So while some ingredients may have a natural fragrance to them, no synthetic fragrance or even natural fragrance was added to give the product a particular smell. So I'm following that basically the FDA rules when it comes to skincare here. Some of the products may contain um, fragrance just because the ingredients in, but actually looking at them, I think the majority of them are pretty much fragrance free. So these products are generally safer to use if you have sensitive skin and if you wanted to go down the unscented route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a full routine of every product you could use. As always, you don't have to use a single one of these. This isn't my routine. I just want to show you some products that you could integrate into your routine and a product for every potential step of the skincare routine. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the cleanser. Absolutely no surprise that the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser is on this list. A brand that are really good at just sticking to what the product needs to make the formula great and the product great and the results even better. You can tell when a product is like fragrance free because it just smells like um, clean. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like not kind of like lemon zest clean, not like toilet duck clean, but just like, um, I hate to say natural because that makes natural sound like it's the best thing ever, but it just smells clean. You do get that almost kind of like um, salady smell because this has amazing things in it, like kale, matcha, hemp. You don't have hemp in a salad, but you know what I mean. If you want to see a full, a full review on the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser, go and check out my Crave review. It's all on there. Also, COSRX are a good brand for fragrance-free and pretty much great for sensitive skin people. Their low pH cleanser, which I have to be honest, I didn't get along with too much. Um, I just didn't find it anything amazing. But I know it's very, very popular. This actually contains tea tree. So you are gonna have that natural fragrance in there. They have a pH of five to six to keep our skin barrier happy. Um, I found it a little bit drying to be honest with you, but people absolutely love this. So give it a go. For the toner, again, we're gonna go with COSRX. This is the alcohol-free Galactomyces toner. This really is a no thrills toner. In fact, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't feel like anything. It feels like you just put water in a spray bottle. It's very nice nicely hydrating though. You do feel that instant like relief from dryness and tightness in your skin. I love spray on toners as well. I love getting out the shower, instantly spraying my face with the toner. It just stops your skin from drying out. So yeah, this is a great one even for the most sensitive of skin types. I would highly, highly recommend it. I'm on my third bottle actually of this. Exfoliator. We know I don't like my physicals. So I'm going to talk about again the Crave Beauty Kale Leluya. This is their um, AHA Exfoliator. Again, Go check out my uh, review of it. The Crave Beauty one is a good step into um, the ex chemical exfoliating world. But also if you've been using chemical exfoliators forever and you just want a good, gentle, but effective chemical exfoliator, the Crave Beauty Kalaluya is a really, really good one to go for. Um, it smells nice. I don't know what it is. It's obviously just all the ingredients, but it does smell very refreshing. So let's talk about the essence. This is, of course, no surprise, is going to be the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is honestly my fourth bottle in the last three months. I rinse this stuff. I use it in the morning. I use it in the evening. All over my face. I'm on my neck. I'm going right down here now. Like, I'm going everywhere with it. I absolutely love it. It's super hydrating. You've got birch juice in there to hydrate. And all that fermented ingredients that does everything you'd want from a traditional essence as well. So your fine lines, even complexion, but this gives you the most like glowy, dewy look to your skin. And it just feels again, hydrating. And going back to my roots with the Misha Revolution Time, was it? Time Revolution Essence. It's been so long since I featured this on my channel and no exaggeration, I get asked about this nearly every single day. I get asked if I'm still using it. The answer is no because of the Neo Gen one, but this is still an amazing, very traditional essence. But I do have it had. I have a full bottle in my collection. And once I finish the Neo Gen one, I will use up the Misha one. It's plumping, it's hydrating, it evens out your skin tone, it helps fight the, the fight the signs of aging. And it's actually lighter on the skin than the Neo Gen one. The Neo Gen one has a, it's not thick, but it does have a slight thickness to it compared to the Misha one, which is just like water. I do prefer the mist version of this, by the way. So if you can get your hands on that, um, it's a lot easier to use. Serum, the Cosrx Triple C Lightning Liquid. This is actually a Soho Glam exclusive. This contains 20.5% pure ascorbic acid and 72% black chalk berry. I'm not sure what that means. This is a stabilized vitamin C as well. And it does everything a vitamin C serum does. But this isn't even the first impressions yet. I haven't used it. I love the Dear Claire's Vitamin C Serum, the Vitamin C Drops, but I wanna branch out a bit and try and like find a newfound love for the vitamin C serums. Let's move on to the moisturizer. Again, COSRX, this is from their Hydrium line, their new line that I'm actually super in love with. I've been using all their um, products from it and I love it. This is the Green Tea Aqua Soothing Gel Cream. These products are stripped back, mostly vegan, I think bar one, super hydrating and feel so gentle and nice on the skin. It's perfect for oily skin people if the weather's hot outside and you don't want to start adding loads of moisturizer onto your skin. Nice and light, but you still feel sufficiently hydrated. Um, you got, so of course you've got green tea in there, which I personally love. I believe green tea has actually been proven to help reduce the appearance of pores. I find that always gives me a nice, um, 
a nice complexion, not necessarily even, but it gives me like a nice glow. Glycerin, so a good humectant in there. And you have aloe leaf extract as well to really calm and soothe your skin. So this is a great moisturizer um, to use when your skin's irritated. Like my skin always gets irritated when I pluck my eyebrows, for example. So I'll get this um, gel cream and just kind of like rub it like and leave it on my skin for a little bit and then rub it in. And it really is really, really soothing. And there's panthenol in there as well, which is probably why. So kind of like a wound healing ingredient. If you're not oily skinned, however, and you're looking for something a little bit more nourishing, or maybe it's just winter and we want that deeper moisture and hydration, the Soon Jung Two Times Barrier Intensive Cream may be a really good option for you. This cream moisturizer, or whatever, saved my skin during winter. I was dehydrated very dehydrated. And this fixed me right up. I would say that this is good for all skin types. Oily people may not enjoy using it during the day, but this, I think the whole range was actually designed um, to um, have a low pH, but also to work with even the most sensitive of skin types. So again, this contains panthenol, so great for irritated skin. And the moisturizer, most importantly, kind of helps restore that balance of water and oil in your skin. And finally, we finish on a sunscreen. It was difficult to find a sunscreen because a lot of them use fragrance to really mask that sunscreeny chemically smell, but <laughs> you can always trust Crave Beauty to only put what they need in their ingredients. So this is of course the Beat Shield by Crave Beauty. So this is an SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. It feels amazing on the skin and looks amazing on my skin. It's my go-to sunscreen if I'm going out and meeting people and having like a nice day out. Where I want my skin to like, like glowy and more even. This like has a nice like evening skin toning type thing to it. I don't think it's part of the ingredient, but on my skin, it just really does make the redness look less obvious. And I'm not sure why. And this is one of very few sunscreens that doesn't irritate my eyes. Even if I avoid the eye area, some chemical sunscreens can kind of like just give me like a stinging sensation, but this one doesn't do that at all. So I, I love this one. Um, it's nice to not well up and cry because your sunscreen's stinging you when you're out in public, you know? So this is a good option to go for. So yeah, as I mentioned, that is a routine in order of what you can use. You don't have to use all them. You don't have to do all of that. But yeah, I actually own all these products. As I mentioned, I'm not out there looking for fragrance, um, but I also know that it serves no benefit, but that also doesn't put me off using a product that contains fragrance. And I feel like it's a weird thing to do nowadays. I think brands know people are not loving fragrance in their skincare. And I think for me, it's more reassuring when something smells a bit like hospital <laughs> because it's got no fragrance than something that smells like, I don't know, patchouli or like rose or anything like that. So hopefully soon people will stop adding these unnecessary fragrance into their skincare. So yeah, keep enjoying skincare. Enjoy it, have fun with it. But that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.